Welcome back to another video. So this is a little bit something different. We have a Mercedes, we normally do, but this is a 2011 Mercedes Sprinter. So all we're doing on this is what they call a lube service, which is oil change, filters, anything like that. Um, I've done the front pads on it already. Uh, we'll do the rear pads, uh, and then we're gonna check it over because it's uh, due an MOT as well. So we're gonna go through it all how I do it and everything as, as usual. So I hope you uh, enjoy the video. I hope you're all keeping well and I'll see you in a minute. Let's start with the front. We're gonna take the airbox off first because we need to get to the oil filter and everything which is down and here. So to get the air filter off, we're gonna undo this clip here. And we're gonna undo that clip uh, plug there, we'll get that out of the way. That plug out of the way. This positive port here, these pull out of here, take the pipe off here, and then same with the oil filter pipe there. So we'll get a torch so we can see it all a bit better. Let's get all that out of the way. And that's the first part we're gonna do. So I hope you can all see this okay. I'm gonna take the oil filler pipe out. Just undo these with a screw. Take that out of the way. And then we're gonna take the engine cover off. And yeah, so the fuel fit was here. I don't know if you can see it, let me show you. So fuel filter here, right there, and oil filter down here. So before I actually do the show you the um, oil filter socket I use, just want to give a shout out to Trailer Fitters. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to their channel and I'll sh this is the channel that they have. So yeah, here's his channel. It's just it's loads of mechanical work, tools, all HGV side, very uh, technical and very helpful information. So and a great bloke as well. So go and please check out his channel. Um, he gave me a not some nice words about my channel and that. So you know, anyone that makes comments about anything on my channel, I try to apply to literally everyone. Yes, I can. And maybe some comments I do miss, but most of the time I reply to everyone and he's um, always been very positive about my channel and I really appreciate it. So go and check him out, go and check his channel out. If you're not already subscribed to him, go and subscribe to him. Tell him I sent you over and thank you very much for the nice comment you made about me. So we're gonna go through what we use. This is our oil filter socket. There is a part number for it, um, it's there. It is 103-589-0209-00. So this is a Mercedes bit of kit. And literally all it does is slots. Literally, and get it in. No, nope, because there's wiring in the way. Get that out. Oh, there we go. So literally slots over. And then Hey, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, there. Right in front of me. 90 mil socket with an extension. And there, like that. And these are paper filters. Here's the uh, ratchet I said out to over. Good old Arky. There is our filter, paper filter. So all I do, oh, spill it everywhere. We'll change the filter, we'll change the O-ring, change the O-ring here and the O-ring here. So I'm gonna get the filter off. I'm gonna put it in the parts wash, what, what? Parts wash and uh, clean it up. And I'll put the new seals on and I'll show you once that's done. All these sprinters, we get the service kit. So it comes with, in a big box, with a oil filter, fuel filter, and an air filter. And remember when you're getting these, get a new sump washer as well. So quite simple. Uh, we are going to 
remove, just get yourself like a little pick or something like that. Flat blade screwdriver, whatever you want. One. Two. Three. So there's three off there. These are the new ones. Quite simple, just do the reverse. We'll put these new seals on and then we'll put our oil filter back in. So next up is the fuel filter. Pipes here, one, two part there, one plug. And they've got like little clips here. Don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can show you. Torch in there a little bit. Little clips on the side of the filter. Like that. And they just literally pop off. Maybe I'll quickly show you one. Is that? So they literally. Just pop off like that. And the next one. And then that's pretty much secure then. So don't undo these torque spots, don't need to. One part there, one part there, take that off, and then that off there. Just put the new one in. Just do literally the reverse of what the new one done. Up. And the last one plugged in, and then we'll think about topping that with some oil. So right, this is the little washer for the sump bung. Just get a new one when you do a service. Um, Thirty mil bung. Pretty simple, really. Self-explanatory. So I'm going to go underneath, do that, and then we're going to top the oil up, and we will go from there. So we topped up the oil. I think it worked out about, I can't remember, nine, 10 litres maybe, something like that. I'll have a look, I did it all in two litres uh, ago, so I should have really counted, but I'll just measure it by a dipstick. It's full where it needs to be. Now we're gonna do the reverse. I'm not gonna time match this, I'm gonna quickly go through it. So we're putting the oil filler on here. It literally goes on and turns and Tight, tighten, and then we have this engine cover. See, it made a schoolboy error there, didn't I? Schoolboy error. The cover goes on first, right? Now this goes on. We'll keep it real. We all make mistakes now and again. Now I'm the bit in it. So, we'll try again. And we'll tighten that. Like that. So, that part's done. We've got to do the air filter on it. I'll grab the air filter. There is about 25,000 bolts holding it in. All these little shitty torques things. So, I'm going to quickly whiz all them out. And then I'll show you the air filter. The air filter one done. It actually isn't bad at all. Quickly check that. Sucking sound, isn't it? But we're going to put the new one in. Because uh, we get a bit of set. So, which proves that this don't do a lot of miles, really. So, I'll put that in there. 
literally all it is. Some little clip like hinge kind of things at the back here. And all they do is slot in there. See that? And literally, come on, you little sausage. Share for the right in, always helps them. Let me know in the comments as well. Like, it's interesting. A couple of bit of notes. If you if you follow football, then where you support? interesting to see who I've got on here. So yeah, these are uh, T25. So what I'm going to do is be lazy. Literally, going to buzz them up. Nice and simple. Quite easy to do these mugs, these vans. I do like Mercedes things with them. It's actually not bad at all. Some sort of shit, but then it's like anything. So, we've got these little lugs at the back here. See them there? And you can see them, okay? Little lugs just here. They slot onto the air filter housing. Two little bits at the front here, and then that back in there, and push it all back in. Pretty damn simple, really. So, and then we're gonna connect the plug back up. Same there. And then this is our little bit, all that does is just, there's like a, here, on there, there's like a little latch. And then, so when you take it out, I'll quickly show you. When you take it out, you push that in, and then you lift it out, yeah? So nice and simple, that one. Get that done up in a minute. And then the oil filter, oil filter, oil filler, does exactly the same. So that's everything all clipped back in. I'm gonna to top the screen wash up. I'm gonna check the coolant, check the brake fluid while I'm here. I'm gonna back the brake fluid off actually because it is to the rear pads. So let's get all this tightened up. I want your ear. Just so anyone don't say, did you tighten it out? Yep, I did. So yeah, it's pretty simple that. Nothing too strenuous. Could you get a set of Water, if you didn't have that socket, could you get a set of water pump pliers or a uh, filter strap? Potentially, just be hard work. So I am going to now run it up, we'll check the level and make sure everything's all good. That's why it's got a warning light on. So, 13 mil bolts holding the caliper on. On these, they've got shoes inside the disc. So when you have to adjust the handbrake, you kind of have to 
Get your screwdriver and flick it round to tighten it up. Sorry. Yeah. Let's tighten that, sorry. Let's get the caliper off anyway and then uh, we'll get, move on. So this van has a brake wear warning on. So only one of the pads has it on. So if you look in here, on there, this bit here, you can see where it's rubbed through. So all it does is when the pad gets down to a certain level, just rubs and then earth sand, which puts the light out. So light on, sorry. So let's get the pad out. Beautiful. We'll change all these clips. We'll get a wire brush. We'll clean all these up here. Um, we should get new bolts as well. So yeah, let's uh, get on with that. So there's something I wanted to ask everyone as well. Has anyone ever been to, I went when I was younger, but I don't know how much has changed now, a truck fest. You know, one at Peterborough or all the other ones. Let me know if you've been, what you think to it. I think I might take my daughter this year. She's different for her. Um, like I say, I, I haven't been since I was a kid. But it'd be interesting to see if it's much different. I suppose in some ways it's probably more uh, clock commercialised and stuff now. There's a lot more, you know, I suppose there's a lot more stands than what they used to be in that. But I heard it's a very good show, but yeah, drop me in the comment below and let us know if you've ever been. So the pads we're putting in are Mintex pads. Uh, nice and easy. Have these covers that go on the back. Lake Sue. Just literally clip in like that. Two wear sensors, set of bolts, and then your pads. So, sure it have new clips, really. I don't know where the fuck they are. That's a bit naughty. So it looks like we're gonna have to put the old ones back on. Should really come with new ones, I thought. So, let's clip back in. I'm actually gonna check where they are. Teeny bit naughty, that. I haven't actually got them. The front ones, they come with it. Why the rear ones didn't, I don't know. But there's obviously a reason they're not there. So I'm gonna to have to use the old ones. I'm gonna put these back in. So, got them in there. And we'll get a new pad. We'll get the, a new sensor in here. Sensor literally just slots in like so. So that's how it originally looks like, like so. And when it gets through to that pad, it'll rub up the plastic bit off, and there'll be a metal bit which will then short out. So, another bit of copper paste, mate. Just gonna put some on the edges like that, literally just slot in. like so just like that so i'm gonna put the other pad in i'll time lapse that and then we will put the caliper back together so what we're gonna do is get me water pump pliers remember to take the cap off it's already been done let's set right and we're literally going to push the piston in if you can see it Slowly. Not too bad. Absolute smashing job. So, I'm in there. That's where our wet level, wet level sensor goes. Push that in like that. Push the slider in each side. There we go. Got our sensor so we don't crush it. Otherwise, it'd be a waste of money. Like that. that sensor back in there. 
And then we do have someone actually rather than this before kindly actually copper pasted the old box hop actually gonna do the same so when the next person does it i.e that could be you so when you think to yourself oh, i'm not gonna do that fuck it the next person will do it that not next person could possibly be you so just uh think about it that way Let's get the last one in. Nice and simple, so I'll do these up now. Be done tight. And then we'll get the wheel back on. These new bolts are actually 12 mil. Um, why they couldn't be 13? Don't know. That's Mercedes for you, I guess. Be different. So red tight, let's check up again. So what we're gonna do is uh I'll screw that we're gonna pump the brakes and then ship to the caliper move. Yeah, that's that adjusted. They're all tight. We'll bang the wheel back on and we'll do the other side. I ain't gonna record that, there's no need to. And I'll catch you in a bit. So that was the Mercedes Sprinter. I'm finished for the day I'm home Mercedes Sprinter that was a lube service so just oil filter fuel filter oil air filter and then we did the rear uh, brake pads on that as well so nice and simple jobs nothing major on that just little videos now on you know whenever I have someone asked me about doing vans and stuff so whenever I do get van stuff I will be doing it uh, front pads are about basically the same they have a 6 mil Allen key bolt that goes through on the slider. So it, there's like two rubber bungs you take off and then you get the, your 6 mil Allen key and crack them off and then wind them out. And obviously the back are 13 mil. So nice easy job. 90 mil for the wheel nuts on them. But not a bad job at all. I hope you're enjoying all my content still. I hope I can get you to like, comment and subscribe. If you'd work on Sabrinters or anything like that, Drop a comment below and let me know what you think and whether you think they're easy enough to work on with a pain in the ass. You let me know. I know the one job on them jo uh, them vans that I have done that is and can be a pain in the ass is injector seals. If you've ever done anything or done any of them, let me know because for me they have been a pain in the ass. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I can catch you out in the next one and I'll see you all very soon.